Our next guest is a primatologist and co-host of Spike TV's hit reality show, Ten Million Dollar Bigfoot Bounty. And when she's not searching for mythical monsters, she's performing stand-up comedy, Natalia Regan. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you. Okay, a primatologist. Actually, well, prima donna primatologist. Okay, <laughs> prima donna. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I gotta say, I, it's, it's a hard act to follow Jesus, it, right. by the way. I see how the order goes. <laughs> From Jesus to Bigfoot. No exactly. Uh, also, you know, I, well, uh, we're still looking for Bigfoot, but... Okay, so let me ask you a yes. question. Be honest with me. Does yes. Bigfoot exist? That's an excellent question. Okay, that's uh, why you're here. As a primatologist, <laughs> uh, I, I'm somebody who studies primates. That would include apes, monkeys, uh, even humans are primates. Um, as, a, as a primatologist and scientist, I'm a skeptic. Mm -hmm. So my job was to go out there and treat this expedition with host Dean Kane and co-host Dr. Todd Desitel as a search for a new species of primate. So yeah, I can't say with absolute certainty there is no Bigfoot. Um, but I also, as a scientist, I'm a heavy skeptic. Okay. Mm. And, so um, you have not found Bigfoot as yes. yet. No. But not you're yet. not ruling out the possibility yes. of one day finding one Bigfoot. One day. I mean, one day. Okay. He's so the hide and go seek champion of the world, <laughs> right? I mean, yes. that's he's true. hanging out with the Loch Ness monster. I, mm. You know what? See him, Yeti. I bet they have like reunions yeah. every so. Mm. El Chupacabra yeah. joins in, maybe it's, a unicorn. Yeah. And Snuffleupagus. Oh, yeah. God. Where's Waldo? So, where, yeah, exactly. All of them, we can need a show with all of them. But why do you think? people are just so preoccupied with Bigfoot and why has the show been such a big hit? Well, I think there's a huge squatcher community first and foremost. There's what a lot they of call them? they're called squatchers. Squatchers. That, exactly. Sasquatch, Sasquatch exactly. Uh, and they oh. actually that's a lifestyle. They go out and actually looking for uh, Bigfoot or Sasquatch uh, in all over the United States, not just in the Pacific Northwest where we were. Hmm. And so I think the reason why it resonates with so many people and people are so excited about looking for this mythical creature that's so much like us is we're always interested in the other, something that's similar but also different. And also people want to find that quote unquote missing link. But, um, hmm. you know, there's different theories about whether Bigfoot um, is. Uh, a descendant of Gigantopithecus, which was a giant Miocene ape that lived thousands of years ago, millions of years ago. And so there's that idea that it could actually be a descendant of that. But to, for Wait, it to what say is that name again? Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus. Yes. Ooh, I'm going to use yeah. that tonight. <laughs> exactly. Excuse Gigantopithecus. Me. Yes, exactly. Ooh, yeah, nice. so that, there was actually a couple different um, species of Gigantopithecus, and one was huge. But the, what I would always explain to squatchers is we don't know a lot about that species. So to say, and that species was thought to be a vegetarian, it was thought to uh, walk on its knuckles, and what uh, the Squatchers are saying is, no, Bigfoot walks on two legs, is a fierce hunter, has, you know, f claws that, you know, can rip flesh. And teeth. And exactly. And as a primatologist, I have to give them information telling them, actually, no, uh, large body primates generally are vegetarian. They, all primates have nails, not claws, and generally primates walk, you know, either on their knuckles, or they're like us, they're bipedal, or they brachiate through trees. There's different modes of locomotion. So explain to us how the show works and how these people go about trying to find Bigfoot, because there's a lot of science behind it as there's well, There's right? tons, and that was a huge draw of the show, was the science that we had a, um, a mobile DNA lab. Oh, really? Really? Yep, Dr. Todd Disotel, the lovely man with the mohawk, is a dear friend, and he actually put together this great mobile DNA lab that I taught the um, uh, a lot of the squatchers, the contestants, how to correctly collect biomaterials. And they would bring these biomaterials back, and that means anything from poop. Very so sexy. Like fecal yes. matter. Fecal matter, hair, hair <laughs> saliva, saliva, blood, skin, if they found it. And they, and even, you know, environmental DNA. So say, for instance, uh, if Bigfoot took a bite of a Snickers bar and left it on this table, I could come back, swab that saliva, you know, and, and put it through the processor and, and de determine what DNA or what actual individual took a bite out of that Snickers bar. But we can use that with like feathers. Uh, we actually were able to spin feathers and figure out what ate that particular bird. Or we could, you know, use a twig. So it was a really cool way of determining um, what is in the environment without actually seeing what's in the environment. So you could actually find Bigfoot without actually having your eyes on him. So you're like you CSI are... for Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. CSI for Bigfoot. That's a great way of, of looking at it. And so, uh, you know, this was a great way to uh, teach these squatchers how to think like scientists. You are fascinating. <laughs> How did Thank a primatologist, you. though, end up on a reality show about <laughs> Bigfoot? Right. Explain well, explain how that came to be. It's yeah, the world, the world is funny. Um, I'm a sci uh, I'm a scientist, but I'm also a comedian. I, I do uh, I make comedy videos that explain uh, science using humor, like the evolution of breasts in women. Uh, men, women, both want to know why 
human women have boobs because non-human primates. Why? Well, there's the idea that as we evolved uh, to walk from being on all fours to being upright, walking hominids, you can no longer see our, <clears throat> you know, undercarriage. Okay. And so uh, breasts uh, that we have permanently at, at um, at puberty mm -hmm. are a sign that we've reached uh, sexual maturity. So oh. men know, hey, that girl right there is is ready to procreate. She's ready to, you know, get down. Have children. Okay. Exactly. So more of a question, why do guys have nipples then? Well, that actually, that's <laughs> a great question. Versus, we have breasts. Right. Exactly. We have that's fat a that, tell sign. You only okay, have nipples. Okay, but why do we have Well, because there's no reason necessarily to get rid of the uh, right. the huh. ability to have uh, nipples because okay. it, it doesn't, they don't serve a purpose, but it's mm -hmm. kind of a survival. It's something that's, that's left around. Um, you, all, as we start off as um, uh, embryos, we all have the, the ability to have nipples. It's just when we choose the female sex or when we become females, that's when and, you know, at, at puberty, you get the fat oh. around the mammary um, glands, and that's, yeah, that's how, why Learning we have so these. so much today. So this let's talk about bodacious tatas. Super, you said bodacious tatas. I said, but, hello. 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 Bodacious <laughs> okay. tatas. That's not very scientific of you. No, but you gotta make it fun. You gotta make there it you fun. Go. You know, okay. get, got your attention, right? You yes, sure it did. did. Yeah. Speaking of fun, let's talk about Superman. Your yes. co-host is Dean Cain. He smolders, doesn't he? What's it like to work with a specimen like that? He, girl? you know, he he's his own brand of Bigfoot. Mm. No, I, we always joke about his bewitching soft brown mm. eyes. And he's, I gotta say, like the nicest guy. He's goofy, he's sweet, he was like a brother. You know, we're out there for 30 days running around in the woods, and he made it fun. And and, um, and so we had a really good time. And, and Dr. Todd Disotel is a dear friend, so we had a really great time. And all the contestants, as nutty as they seem, are all very intelligent. Really? Very intelligent. Do they really believe in Bigfoot, or are they just there for the prize money? They do. They, they do. do believe in Bigfoot. Many of them have very interesting theories, and, and that's what I loved hearing and, and talking to them and informing them about what I know about primates. And we could kind of have a banter going back and forth. And what I loved seeing was them changing their their theories as they gain more information. Wow. And it's a know? lifestyle for them, right? It is, wow. yeah, they really, and I, I respect that. As somebody who has a passion about what I do, you know, comedy and science, I have a passion, you know, they have a passion about about finding Bigfoot, and you gotta respect that. So will the right. series continue to go on until you find Bigfoot? Well, right now, we've wrapped <laughs> season one, and so we'll have to see if there's a season two. But in the meantime, um, I actually have a little web series that I'm doing with my co-host, Dr. Mm -hmm. Todd. And um, it's it's basically, I don't know if I can say this, but it's talking poop okay. with the other word with Dr. Todd Natalia. And we talk about the science behind the show in a very funny way. So you can actually, if, you, if you're interested, I have a website, nataliareagan.com, where you yeah. can see the science comedy videos about boobs, even butts, pheromones. I talk about all these types of... Um, cool, sexy, scientific uh, concepts, but in a funny way. I like that. Well, sexy you science. are now my new <laughs> favorite primatologist. Yes. <laughs> and the only one I know. Thank you. Well, she's if you meet Jane favorite. Goodall, I understand if she trumps me because... Well, she's been in the game for a while, yeah. but you're right there, girl. You're right Thank there. You. All right. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We're looking forward to season two because we have to find Bigfoot. Exactly. All right. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Thank you so much. Thank and you. you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.